Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter 24 of Angular 8 Unit Testing with Jasmine and Karma, we are going to look at Lifecycle Hooks Part 2. Objective of this video is to how to test after content in it, after content check, after view in it, after view check and on destroy lifecycle hooks. Now, we will first look at after content in it and after content check lifecycle hooks. Well, the after content lifecycle hook is basically associated with a content being projected into a component and most of the times it is a child component that is being projected into another component. Now in this example, I have app content child which is being projected into the after content parent component. So we have a child component that is getting projected and we have a parent component which will accept that projected content. Now in the app content child component, we have a simple input box which is having a ng model that is a two way binding done with it with current value. And in the after content parent component, we have ng content which will accept the values. Then I have included two variables which will be printed on the UI. First is init msg and second is checked msg. Now let's go and see the TypeScript where I have implemented these two lifecycle hooks. Now in the after content parent component, I have implemented three lifecycle hooks out of which we are going to see only two in this video after content checked and after content in it. Since these two are implemented, their respective methods are also being implemented in the class. Now, here is the ng after content in it. This is the lifecycle hook method for after content in it. And in this one, I'm going to set the init message which will be printed on the UI to after content in it executed. So, this particular lifecycle hook is executed only once. Once the content has been initialized, then is after content checked. So ng after content checked will be executed after the content is checked and here I will be setting checked message where it will be printing the previous value and current value entered by the user in the contents child component. And if these value are equal, we are going to do nothing. But if these two values are not equal, then we are going to perform a assignment operation which will assign the content child's current value that is the value entered in the input box to the previous value and these two values will be printed using the check message on the UI. So here is the code that I just explained looks like on the UI. So here is our after content parent component in which we have projected a child component with a simple input box and after content in it and after content check these two lifecycle hooks that are implemented within after content parent component are executed and their respective messages are shown here. And if I print anything here, you will notice that the after content check is getting executed with the respective values. Now let's go and see the unit test cases. So here is the unit test suite that I have prepared for testing the after content checked and after content init lifecycle hooks. Now before we move ahead, I have created certain standard variables like the component fixture, also created a fixture for child component that is the content child component. Then I have created before each where I have configured the testing model in which I have included after content parent component and content child component. I have also included forms model since the content child component is having a ng model. Then in the next before each, I have created a fixture for after content parent component. Then component instance is created, also created a fixture for child component that is content child component. And using this child fixture, I have assigned a instance of the component that is the child component to the components content child. Now where this content child is defined, it is defined within the component using at the rate content child for content child component and this variable is defined. Now why this is defined here? This is defined here so that in the after content checked lifecycle hook, I will be able to access the 
current value that is entered by the user in the input box and this input box is present within the content child then coming back to our unit test case so the first unit test that we have written is for testing ng after content in it and ng after content checked automatically now in this case we'll be executing the method picture.detect changes after which we'll be checking or we're going to expect init message to content after content init executed now where this message is getting set is this message is getting set within ng after content init method then we are going to set the component dot content child dot current value to test data now this test data then again we are going to execute fixture dot detect changes now why we are executing fixture dot detect changes because once this value is set we want to execute the life cycle hooks which life cycle hook ng after content check in which we are doing a comparison and changing the checked message variable now after the fixture dot detect changes is executed we are going to expect component dot check message to contain previous value equal to undefined and current value equal to test data now this we are expecting because we have set the value of check message to reflect this particular value since this is a expected text both the expectations will pass and hence our unit test case will also pass so in the next unit test case we are manually executing the two life cycle hooks now why we want to manually execute these two life cycle hooks because with fixture dot detect changes every life cycle hook gets executed and if we want to unit test only a certain life cycle hook then we have to manually execute the given life cycle hook so in this case i have explicitly added component dot ng after content in it and after that i'm going to expect component dot init message which we have set in this method to after content in it executed then i have set the component dot content child current value to be test data then again i have executed component dot ng after content check to be executed explicitly then here in the expect statement i am comparing component dot check message to contain a certain value that is getting set within this life cycle hook so you can unit test the life cycle hooks by using the fixture dot detect changes or by manually executing them now if you use the fixture dot detect changes everything within the component will get executed but if you want to only test the life cycle hook then you have to make sure you will be executing the particular life cycle hook explicitly then the next life cycle hook that we are going to check are after view in it and after view content check now for demonstrating these two life cycle hook i have prepared a simple after view parent component and in that component i have included a div on which i have added a template reference variable dvtxt and also added certain bootstrap classes that we will be using for demonstrating the use of these two life cycle hooks well the after view life cycle hooks work with view children or the components view view whose tags are included within the parent component now in this case we are going to look at view child then in the after view parent component dot ts i have included a adderet view child decorator for the template reference variable that we have created on the template and assigned it a type element ref then i have also included renderer2 and hook data service so hook data service will look at when we will be seeing the on destroy life cycle hook but the renderer2 that we are going to see with after view checked and after view in it now here i have also implemented after view in it and after view checked life cycle hooks and their respective methods are also implemented now in after view in it i have included set timeout and using the renderer i have set the class of the div element to block p2 pg warning text white so i have changed the classes from current value to these new two values using the set timeout then i have also added transition so the changes on the ui will transition smoothly then 
in after view check method i have included set timeout and again i have changed the class property of the div element to new set of values and again i have added the transition each time after view lifecycle hook is getting executed the classes for the div element will be changing and it will be displayed on the ui so let's go and see the output on the ui first So if you have seen the divs coloring and the texture has changed over the period of 5 seconds. Now let's go and see how these life cycles hooks are unit tested. Now here is the test suit for after view init and after view check life cycle hook. And in this one I have created a component fixture and a debug element that is the standard variables that we will be using for our testing. Then again in the before each I have configured the testbed.configure testing module in which i have included after view parent component then the in the next before each i have included fixture and created the instance for that fixture created the instance for component and created the debug element then coming to our unit test case where i have included the unit test case within fake async why because i have used set timeout which itself is a asynchronous operation hence I have to include the unit test case within fake async and tick. Now, once the instance of the component is created, I'm going to execute fixture dot detect changes. Then I'm going to expect that component is created. That is component dot to be true thing. So this will pass since the component instance is created. Then I'm going to get the sample div whose classes are getting changed and i am going to store it here now since we have executed fixture dot detect changes both lifecycle hook method will be executed immediately but in this example i have used set timeout hence the properties that is the class of this div will change after every 5 seconds hence in the first i am going to check expect sample div native element dot class name to contain now there are a lot of classes in involved here but i'm going to check only with one to contain p4 that is bootstrap class p4 then tick 500 so here at this point we are going to simulate the passage of five seconds after that we are going to check sample div dot native element dot class name to contain p2 then again i'm going to check tick 500 so this is again 5 seconds passage of time and then I am going to check sample div native element dot class name to be p5. Now this particular value is set at the time of execution of lifecycle hook. Now here using the lifecycle hook I have changed the values of a div at a certain time and this unit test case will pass successfully. Then we are going to manually execute these life cycle hooks and see the results so coming to our next unit test case so instead of fixture dot detect changes we are simply manually executing the life cycle hooks so again we are checking the components instance is created then we are creating the variable for the div element and then we are going to first check sample div dot native element dot class name to contain p4 so here we'll be manually executing after view in it we are going to execute tick 500 this is executed because in set timeout i have set the time for 500 milliseconds that is 5 seconds after this ex executed we are going to check to contain so sample div dot native element dot class name to contain p2 that is our ng after view in it method is executed and p2 class is set then here i have executed ng after view checked now this is executed once the ng after view checked is executed we are going to execute tick 1000 now why we have added 1000 milliseconds here this is because in the lifecycle hooks method we have set the timeout to 1000 milliseconds that is 10 seconds so after this is executed we are going to check that sample div's class name is p5 or it contains p5 within list of class names so this test will pass as well so this is how we can unit test after view in it and after view check lifecycle hooks 
now we have executed them using fixture dot detect changes which will be executing basically all the lifecycle hooks then we have executed them manually so this will individually test that particular lifecycle hooks method but the next lifecycle hook that is on destroy lifecycle hook is not getting executed when we execute fixture dot detect changes because the on destroy lifecycle hook is executed only once and that is at the time when the component is completely destroyed or removed from your page now how we can unit test the lifecycle hook whose method is called only once that is using manually executing that method so for unit testing the on destroy lifecycle hook let's see the code that i have implemented first in the after view parent component dot ts i have included on destroy lifecycle hook then i have also included hook data service and a subscription as well then in the ng on init lifecycle hook i have set this dot sub equal to this dot data service dot data subject so this hook data service is having a data subject and here we are going to subscribe to that data subject and in this way i'm not going to do anything we just want to test the unsubscription and in the lifecycle hooks method that is ng on destroy i'm going to execute ng sub unsubscribe so basically whenever we are subscribing to any subject or any observable its unsubscription is usually written within ng on destroy so i'm going to check whether this unsubscribe is called at the time of ng on destroy then let's see the unit test case for on destroy lifecycle hook so here is the lifecycle hooks unit test case now in this unit test case i have included fixture dot detect changes this will just detect the changes then i have added spy on on the component dot sub dot this is the subscription whose unsubscribe method we will be spying on then i am explicitly executing component dot ng on destroy since there is no way i can destroy the component within unit test case hence i am including component dot ng on destroy here that is explicitly executing this method at this point then i am going to expect that component dot sub dot unsubscribe to have been called that is this spy on will help us to check whether this unsubscribe method was called at least once now since we are spying on this method and explicitly calling this method this unsubscription will be executed and hence this expect will be executed as well so if you want to unit test on destroy lifecycle hook you have to call the component dot ng on destroy lifecycle hook explicitly within your unit test case so this is how you can unit test life cycle hook that we have seen in the part 1 video and part 2 video and whenever we are executing the life cycle hook there are two ways using which we can unit test them first is by executing the fixture dot detect changes the fixture dot detect changes will basically execute each and every life cycle hook whereas there is another method where we will be explicitly that is manually executing each and every life cycle hook so here advantage with the manual method is that we will be executing only that life cycle hook as a method and we will be only be able to test that life cycle hook instead of executing all the life cycle hooks so i hope you have liked these two videos do subscribe and thank you